Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of Airshaper. I had a great time watching the latest Top Gun Maverick movie and a lot of scenes triggered my fascination for aerodynamics. So in this video I want to go over some of these scenes together with you. The first one is about the Dark Star, the plane in which Maverick is going from Mach 10, so 10 times the speed of sound. The plane looks super cool and was conceptualized together with the people of Lockheed Martin. But I have one question. When he's at around Mach 9, the plane suddenly goes for a corner in the movie. Why would you take a turn if you're going for a straight line speed record? This would generate massive g-forces on both the plane and the pilot, creating extra drag and slowing it down. Perhaps I'm overlooking something, perhaps they did the same with the X-15 with previous high-speed record runs, but it kind of felt like a dragster taking a corner. Other scenes include the F-18, a fairly dated fighter plane used by the Top Gun pilots in this movie. At one point, Maverick is performing a low-level flight, so very close to the ground, and then suddenly pulls up. Now pulling up like this generates extreme aerodynamic forces, generating massive wing tip vortices around the tips of the wings, as well as a downwash of air touching the ground. It's really nice to see this visualized by the dust being taken along by the air. In another scene, the pilots are speeding up, breaking the sound barrier at Mach 1. You can actually hear the sonic booms in that scene, and you can see the planes cross into some kind of white disc. Now, it was long believed that this white disc was the actual sound barrier, but it is not. Instead, it's a vapor cone, and it works as follows. Ahead of the vapor cone, there's a first shock wave, which will compress the air and heat it up. Now, right after the compression shock wave, there's an expansion wave, which again expands the air, lowers the pressure, and if the humidity is high enough, this will call the, cause the water vapor to condense. And this is the white disc that you see. Now, right after this white disc, there's a second shock wave, which compresses the air again, eliminating the water vapor. And this is the cause of the vapor cone. And then there's the famous Cobra maneuver, or dynamic deceleration. If you're being chased by an enemy airplane, you can pull up the nose of your plane to a more or less vertical position. At such an extreme angle of attack, the airplane will go into stall and act like an air brake, slowing it down. Now, as the enemy airplane passes underneath you, you can pull the nose back down, resume level flight, but only now in second position. A final remark relates to motorbikes, one of our favorite areas for development at Airshaver. Now, as you may know, the rider on a motorbike generates a huge wake behind him, behind his back, dragging air along. Now, if you can fill that wake with something which is slightly smaller and nicely attached to the rider, you can actually reduce the wake, boost efficiency, and reduce fuel consumption. So, when taking Penny along for a ride on the back of his motorcycle, Maverick was probably thinking of the environment. So, that was it for our short video on aerodynamic scenes within the movie Top Gun Maverick. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button, drop an interesting comment, start the discussion below. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.